Hello, my name is Kevin Cosby. I'm the pastor of St. Stephen Baptist Church in Louisville, Kentucky. I want to read a scripture to you that uh, drives uh, environmentalists crazy. It's in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 18 through 22. It reads, in the morning as Jesus was returning to Jerusalem, he was hungry. And he noticed a fig tree beside the road. He went over to see it if there were any figs, but there were only leaves. Then he said to it, may you never bear fruit again. And immediately the fig tree withered up. The disciples were amazed when they saw this and asked, how did the fig tree wither so quickly? Then Jesus told them, I tell you the truth. If you have faith and don't doubt, you can do things like this and much more. You can even say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. You can pray for anything, and if you have faith, you will receive it. As I said, this is a verse that troubles environmentalists because it seems that Jesus was angry and cursed a fig tree because it did not have figs. And many scholars point out that it was not the season for figs. So why is Jesus cursing a fig tree it doesn't have figs when it wasn't the season for figs. Well, the reason Jesus cursed it was this was, he was teaching a lesson. This was an object lesson. And he cursed that fig tree because of something that Jesus just detest, and that's hypocrisy. You see, it had leaves on it. And any time a fig tree has leaves, that was always a fig tree advertising that it had figs. So he was saying, you know what, look at me, I've got leaves, so I must have figs. But it was not being true to what it really was doing. It was not being honest because it was falsely advertising. That's called hypocrisy. See, God wants us to be consistent. If you're advertising one thing, if you're advertising that you are a child of God, then your fruit should highlight that. Your lifestyle should highlight that. And he cursed the fig tree because it was guilty of false advertising. Perhaps nothing disturbs non-Christians more than anything is the inconsistent life of Christians. Sometimes people don't accept the Redeemer because of the behavior of the redeemed. We have a lot of leaves, but we don't have any fruit. You're not nourished by the leaves. You're nourished by the figs. We're not, people are not nourished by our figs of religiosity and pomposity, but they are nourished only when they get our figs. How are you when it comes to integrity? Make sure that what you talk about is what you are actually walking. I love what Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 2. He says, since God has so eagerly let us in on what he is doing. We are not about to throw up our hands and walk off the job just because we run into an occasional hard times. We refuse to wear masks and play games. Don't wear masks. Be who you are. Now, does that mean that you have to be perfect? None of us are perfect. But don't walk around like you've got it all together and like you're better than other people when you really don't have it all together. We are who we are by the saving grace of God. If people, if you're going to advertise your leaves, make sure that when people come and check you out, that there's some figs also. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your word and help us to be more consistent Help us, O oh God, not only to talk the talk, but to walk the talk. Forgive us for the times that we have been inconsistent and help us from this point on to be more consistent. Because sometimes the only God that people will ever see is the God they see in us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Don't forget, stay safe, stay sane.